I've just finished a multi-part video where I build this kit. I'm not going to go into it now in detail, but it's this kit right here. I assembled this like I would any other Chinese kit, and I had some problems. I worked around them, but uh, I don't think you should have to do that. And the problem is the space allotted, the space created <laughs> between these two boards. That is to say, there's not enough space. Before you watch the video, which is a very detailed video on how to assemble this, you need to watch this video. I could have put this video last, but that would have been a dirty trick. The components underneath the display, which are here, well, they're under here, have got to be installed differently. For example, this capacitor in the videos you're going to watch is installed vertically, which is the way it was designed to be installed. I'm saying it needs to be laid over. As does this capacitor. Doesn't look neat, but it needs to be done. The reason is if it's installed vertically, can't get the display in. So, I'm going to show you what you have to do different. Then you watch the video and say, huh, I better not do that. I'm going to install this capacitor laying over on its side. There is a three terminal regulator here. Bend the leads as sharp as you can here. Down. Install that here. Pull it as far as you can this way while laying flat to make room for this 10K resistor that you're going to install someday. That will actually result in bending the legs, the legs a little bit more than 90 degrees. It's tight against the board. Legs are bent in, overbent, and there's room for the 10K resistor. Then install this capacitor, Pay, paying attention to polarity. And bend him over until he's laying flat on top of the regulator. Once these capacitors are installed, and then these underneath them. 
and you may want to install this 2k resistor under here you don't have to you could fish it in there okay now the display using the components furnished with the kit fits nicely now you'll notice that I have installed standoffs four of them I strongly recommend if you anticipate building this kit that you acquire four of these standoffs now these standoffs are included in the kit and two for down here these standoffs and the four screws on the top are not part of the kit either brass or nylon and in two places screw these additional standoffs into the existing standoffs from the corners and in the intermediate spots install the standoffs with a nut down below lost a nut <laughs> and four screws on top I have installed this one here I just lost the nut I will look here we go And what happens is with the 12 millimeter standoff installed using the components furnished in the kit you can seat this display and screw it down with the steel screws or nylon screws and everything will fit if you watch the videos that follow this you'll see me incorrectly install these and my problem that came about because of that so you can watch that video and enjoy me going down a path Well, it was not a good thing to see. You can get these standoffs in kits, eBay, AliExpress. This is a nylon standoff kit. This is a brass standoff kit. They're M3, M3 brass standoffs. Either kit contains male by female or male by male this could be a male by male but this needs to be a male by female in order to use the spacers that came with the kit as legs well you've been warned thank you very much